How are Palestinians portrayed in the Israeli education system? Well, the education system in Israel is very racist. Even the, the most progressive uh, textbooks and programs are the whole Israeli discourse is very racist. I mean, when everybody, anybody meets you, you have to say whether you're a Jew or an Arab, first of all, Jew or non-Jew. And if you're Jewish, you have to say whether you are Occidental or Oriental Jew. People categorize you all the time, but all the non-Jews are either Arabs, all of them, even though a lot of them are not Arabs. And the Palestinians themselves are never portrayed really as individuals because you don't have in any Israeli textbook one photograph of a Palestinian face. And they're never, they're never uh, represented as modern, productive, individual, professional people, only as a primitive lot, uh, security threat, and uh, what they call in Israeli textbooks a horrendous demographic problem. Even the citizens of Israel are thus described in books. So the only, the only pictures you have the, of the, them the non, is... The non-Jewish citizens of Israel. The non-Jewish citizens mm -hmm. of Israel, or, but, and, uh, yeah, who are the Arabs. Uh, you usually have, if you do have photographs, it's, it's the racist, arc, uh, you know, stereotypical photographs of co uh, face cover terrorists, primitive farmers, or refugees you know you see f you see masses of refugees but you never never see them even ethnically doing anything uh, positive so israeli children really are deprived of 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 the knowledge about their immediate neighbors because we're talking about people who live half a kilometer from us and they don't know anything about them does the israeli educational system make any distinction between Christian and Muslim Palestinians? Uh, no, no, but generally the Christians are regarded as more cultivated, <laughs> than, but n n not in the books, but uh, generally. How does the uh, Israeli educational system portray the land of Israel? Well, there is a tricky thing because the land of Israel is the whole area, like from Iraq to Egypt and you know, from the, from the sea to the, uh, to the desert, as described in the Bible, like the promised land. But what is written in geography books is that this piece of land is one geographic entity called the land of Israel. I don't know who is the geographer who invented this name, but it's, they say it's one geological entity and one geographic entity and it's funny because in, geograph in geography textbooks, they use biblical phrases in order to validate that. So it kind of gives the Bible a scientific stamp and the geography book a, a, a sacred stamp. <laughs> and there isn't even one map in Israeli textbooks that shows the green line, for example, the real border. So I think it's already the third generation of students who don't even know there is occupation. And the state of Israel is pictured as some accidental result of, of ceasefires forced upon us. Mm -hmm. So even the, the borders that are depicted on, on maps, such as with Syria, Lebanon, uh, Egypt, and Jordan, are always represented as temporary. Mm -hmm. So what are the rights then of the people within this land of Israel? Uh, how does Israel education distinguish between the rights of the, uh, the Jewish Israelis and the non-Jewish Israelis? They don't talk about it much. I just saw a, a civic studies book of 800 pages that does not even mention the non-Jewish population, only in half a page saying that we have some minorities and they enjoy in Right. So what Israel is what is, is, is described as ethnic democracy, which means that one ethnic group is dominating the other. But the funny, th I mean, this, the, the, the funny thing about Israel, it is the land of all the Jews, no matter where they live. And it's not the land of its citizens. So Arabs or non-Jews are second-hand citizens. It, it is expressed in budgets, in services, 
in facilities, in education, everything. And even, I'll give you a very small example, in all educational institutions, every single Jewish holiday is days off. But when we wanted at the university to have one day off for a very major Muslim holiday, uh, the answer was no. So, um, and we gave it anyway, me and another professor, and uh, we were harshly reproached. And um, so they have no rights as a group, no cultural, national, or social rights as a group. They have some kind of individual rights. And the